All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster. And if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight. Here we would be talking about a one-round fight right. because there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab. The head movement, it's never on the line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fight. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Oh, Some people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart and they both possess a similar height and reach. We set it inside Ladies the Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 179 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Assassin! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to the corners, but not fight. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. What a punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, a huge block there. Just 
finishes there with the left. It's such a fast leg kick. That could have been lights out. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big kick lands. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Oh, he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Straight right, he misses. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Both guys really throwing with authority. How good is that right hand? Nice head kick. Big kick land. Nice one, two there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Final seconds of round one. Oh, rips the body shot there. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting good, underway. Good, good, good. Round one, not the round of the year That's necessarily, good. but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number two. Oh, and he caught the trip. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll 
see if he can finish. Boom! Big jab. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, massive kick! Didn't see that one coming. Oh, straight right! Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step to getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Blocks that strike. Right now, he's in the single collar tie. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Man, is he landing a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Caught the kick. Had him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take that one appeared to stun him. News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Wow! Big knee. Hands up. Just misses with a left hook there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Back to the feet. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, Superman punch is good. Good stick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, it's just... Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice punch here. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slips that left hand. Well, looks as though his leg here, you can even see him limping a little bit. Oh! He needs to start nipping the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big left. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Trying to kick the leg out. That was a thudding leg kick. Dude, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, he might be out. Man, looks like he's trying to... Whoa! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game.
a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.